All right, so I'm looking at the field. This is eight days after being sprayed with quinclorac um, for the torpedo grass. And for all this buttonweed and a little bit of sedge and a few other things, uh, maybe a few little broadleaf weeds, I um, put down some Celsius. So, so far, we've got some good yellowing, um, knocking back the color after the first um, round of the Celsius. Seems as the buttonweed is really being discolored and, and knocked back. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, at the um, uh, torpedo grass and I just, I'm not really seeing it like I was. Um, it might be more on this side, but I did look at some of it back over there, like right here. A um, little bit of torpedo in here, but I'm not seeing the torpedo like I was. Now look, some of it may not have got the right coverage on it, but it's really, um, really knocking back that button weave. Obviously, it's going to take a second application for sure. Um, maybe a little bit stronger on the on the button weed, um, as you can see, the Alexander grass. Right here we got a little Alexander grass. It's yellowing a little bit. Um, so the biggest thing right now, especially at this time of year without putting pre-emergent on here and as much as it is is yeah we'd like to kill but we really just want to knock it back some and okay, we want to be able to stun its growth stop it you know get the chemicals inside it have the cells you know kind of fighting each other inside the plant um, and that's what this photosynthesis you know, over here you can really see some of this alexander grass it looks a lot like um, um, crab grass but it's got a Kind of a brighter green color to it but some of them man are just absolutely lit up um you know and i'm all right here we go here's some torpedo grass you know i'm kind of wondering with some of this if i didn't put enough quinclorac in it you know um i think i i want a little light on it so just kind of nervous on how the field was going to check out but, um, you know, I, I'm very, very, very excited and happy about, now here we've got some Kalinga, kind of looks like sedge, but looks like it's kind of having some issues at its, at its base, okay? Um, so, I'm kind of happy about that. I just, um, I'm not seeing a lot of, I'm not seeing a lot of action going on in the um, torpedo grass, you know? So, you know, next time I need to, I guess we'll um, up it a little bit, the dosage. Um, I think it was like, uh, hell, um, I'll have to look, but it's around a pound of that stuff. You know, and each bottle of that's like 120, and that's a whole bottle, it's only 16 ounces. So, you know, I mean, you're looking at a pretty good bit of money to knock that torpedo grass back. And it's been raining, you know, but, um, also, you know, just needs to make sure that, you know, we really hit it with, um, keep it mowed, come down, okay, over here. We've got some Bahia grass, it looks like, um, so mixed in with some Torpedo. The tor the, the Bahia, um, took a little bit, but it, uh, it's not as susceptible to the, um, to the uh, Celsius, but you know, I think I can come back a little bit stronger with the Celsius next time as well. But I mean, that's some really good color knocking into to that uh, button weed into that Alexander grass. You know, I just, I'm really excited about that. The Bermuda looks really good. Um, you know, we've knocked a lot of the, the sedge back. Some of the sedge is yellow, and some of it's still kind of going strong, but that's okay. We'll get it. Now you can look at the sedge right there. It's um, really yellow. So overall, you know, with the one application that I put, 
we didn't have pre-emergent this year because of the COVID. So I couldn't get out here and, and put down my um, barricade that I wanted to do to kind of help a lot of this from coming up, you know, before it germinated. But man, I'm just really liking the the color of this of this um, buttonweed, man. The buttonweed is now. See here, some torpedo. Not a lot of luck with the torpedo, but the torpedo is not as abundant as. It seemed to be there's a lot of it but if you were to keep this grass cut short um keep it cut down you know I, and i know that's kind of hard but keep this grass cut down then i think we'd be good the field's also really really wet i mean it's just a slosh out here so i know it's hard to get out here and cut too when it's sloshing but you can see the um is this some dicamba um uh, yeah no, I think this is dollar weed. The dicamba would have the stem on the edge over here. So, you know, surprised that the dollar weed has taken the pounding that it has. And it's not seen a lot going on with the torpedo grass. I mean, got a little yellowing and some of it, but just not much, man. I, I don't know. I'll continue to try to keep a mix up with that. There's some Kalinga and some Sedge that, you know, some of it's yellow and some of it's not. Um, so we'll just next time um, make sure I hit it again maybe I'll go a little bit stronger with both took me about yeah about 45 to 50 gallons to spray this field you know, I'm looking at an average of about 40 gallons a um, 40 gallons an acre on the stuff that I'm spraying with the, with the three point sprayer that I have so you know this field's looking probably between 60 75,000 square foot so it's a little it's you know an acre and a half an acre and three quarters it's a little bit more but yeah the dollar we took a pound in um, so you know I'm thinking we'll see uh, maybe come back in with a with a little bit of MSMA I don't know if that's too much um, I have to kind of think about it and maybe research a little bit more because there's just a lot of bahia grass over here. And again, the Celsius does say that it can control bahia grass, but at the same time, you know, bahia grass is still a little bit tolerant to it. You know, it, it can still survive. And a lot of times the bahia grass may yell a little bit and come back, but you know, this area over here, I'm well, you know, I see the button is really taking a pounding. So, hey, look, this is exciting. You know, we got somewhere, we're getting somewhere. If we can get this knocked out, at least get it suppressed, okay? The Bermuda grass is gonna start taking over, growing in, even if it doesn't die all the way, the other weeds. We can get this buttonweed suppressed. As you can see, this whole thing's just loaded with buttonweed. And we can knock out these buttonweed, we can get this Bermuda going, and then we can make this look like one of the best fields in the, in the um, Mobile County. So, just really excited about it. You know, when I saw it from the car, I, I was kind of disgusted because I didn't see a lot of yellowing, but that's because of the type of weeds they are, you know, but, um, yeah, I really do think, you yeah, know, we can knock out this sedge right here, you know, um, knock out this bahia grass right here, which is not really a problem. That's not really an issue. You know, the bahia, I, I've got stuff for the bahia that'll kill it, you know, uh, so I think I can come back with some more quinclorac which we'll, we'll try to hit that, um, hit that torpedo grass, you know, um, we'll see that, you know, um, we'll see, I don't know, the torpedo grass almost like it isn't even, yeah, there's some of it, but as you get towards the middle, it's not a whole lot, so like I said, we can just get rid of this button weed, which is really taking over, some of the sedge, um, you know, looking at probably, some Kalinga right here. I don't know, I'm gonna take a little sample because it can be really similar to sedge sometimes. So I'll take this with us, kind of check it out. Uh, see what's going on. Anyways, that's kind of a overall the field. As you can see, it's got good color. So um, pretty excited. You see the yellowing and, and I tell you what, this is what I'm excited about. The Bermuda grass has taken no pounding at all. Like, I have not even seen any Bermuda grass that 
has even yellowed at all. So, man, that's that's um extremely exciting. So, you know, this is Zach. Just kind of giving an analysis of what I see out here at Alba Middle School. Um, you know, we're just gonna come back and hit a little bit at a time. You know, we need to put another application out for sure. Like I said, this is about the eighth to 10th day. Can't remember exactly, um, but we'll come back out here either the end of the week or next week. And, you know, like I said, I may make some adjustments, you know, um, for sure the Celsius is going in, probably make it a little bit stronger. Um, I think per acre, it's like 3.57 ounces an acre. So may up that up a little bit because that's one of the lowest part that's or that may be the middle i think i may up it to one of the higher ones which will be four and a half something like that um especially since i'm not seeing any signs on the bermuda even if the bermuda did yellow a little bit it wouldn't be a problem we'll come back but i think i'm gonna up it a little bit to to hit um really hit the um the hair grass and really try to up the quinclorac our, you know, the product I use is called Quinway, and it's Quinclorac, and it's really um, good for grassy weeds as well. You know, we'll use it to knock out, um, you know, it's good for Bahia too. But I really think I just want a little light on that Quinclorac last time, because uh, I really didn't expect to have to use more than what I had. So I think I was a little bit light. You know, it did the job on some things, but um, we'll get it fixed and corrected and taken care of. All right. This is 7-29-2020. Um, I'm out.